Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah. Guys before we get into this episode I'm collecting for Gambia. Now I went there a couple of years ago and the aim is unique to build a school and a masjid for orphans from scratch and be as transparent as possible. Alhamdulillah I went there a couple of years ago the project has gone from strength to strength. My vlog is there in the description check it out when I went there and there was pretty much nothing there. I'm collecting only £2,000 this Ramadan. We're £1,000 there already. Add your share in there guys. I mean come on. <laughs> Alright guys let's start off with the first bit of news. Donald Trump famous for build a wall and Muslim ban and blah 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 yeah. So he's noticed that his relations with the Muslim community is obviously not good. Islam hates us. So what this mug has decided to do now is arrange an iftar. Iftar. Now classic Donald Trump style obviously the iftar will make no sense. Iftar. Why because he's not calling the American Muslims he's only importing them from the other countries yeah all these diplomats and all that. So I guess it's, it's kind of like that whole thing that he's against importing Muslims in from other countries and he's doing exactly that. Classic. Now I really question the morals of the Muslims that have actually bothered to turn up because this is probably the only iftar, iftar. that is 100% haram. You can't expect halal food from Donald Trump. I mean come on mate. And you know what ironically the food is probably prepared by underpaid migrants. Ramadan Kareem. Naturally you guys know about the UK yeah where the second largest arms dealers on the planet. For the last hundred years we've been in some sort of war every year. We love war here in the UK. Now let's look at the United States yeah. They've endeavoured to overthrow more than 50 different governments, mostly democratic yeah. and they've tried to assassinate more than 50 foreign leaders. So they love to interfere. Now when you call their foreign nationals you're not gonna bang on about war and bang on about interference. I mean who does? But when it comes to inviting Muslims even if it's for a simple iftar dinner people love bringing up this topic of terrorism. So let's see if Donald Trump is going to be the first guy that calls Muslims for iftar and sticks with the topic of iftar. We resolve to defeat the evils of terrorism. Naturally that was too much to expect. Thank you very much, thank you all. It's been a mixed week for Israel, some good, some bad. Mostly bad though. Well they were caught red-handed meddling in the Asian, African and Latin American elections. Facebook had to remove loads of fake accounts made by these Israelis. Well I'm sure you guys heard of that security WhatsApp scandal. It turns out that it was Israeli technology that was behind it. Despite not being in Europe Israel hosted the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah God knows how they managed to pull that off and there was a call for the mass boycott of the event because Israel was being accused of uh, whitewashing the Palestinian occupation. One artist in particular, Madonna. Now despite being a washed up, irrelevant, Botox dependent, close to pension age artist, now I guess the one million that she was offered for her morals was too much. Now on the other hand, now let's look at somebody with morals. In fact not even with morals this guy is risking his career because if you publicly support Palestine over Israel it's problematic for your career development. But Ronaldo don't care, he's donated one and a half million to the Gazans which is more than the salary that Madonna's getting for her performance. Now let's move on to something positive for Israel yeah. Israel's big brother America said that you know, and I gotta say mate yeah tell us which side you're actually referring to so we know which side to avoid you know what I mean. Alright guys let's move on to the next bit of news. As we know France banned the hijab 2004, two months ago Quebec they followed suit but now Austria has joined in the ranks and has banned the hijab in schools. I don't know what this obsession is with the clothing of Muslim women. This is state sponsored Islamophobia and it's these very countries that profess to being free. Absolute nonsense mate. 
Alright guys, I'm gonna have to keep it there. The video is becoming too long, but there's a few things that have to be added in. Number one, you probably remember the terrorist attack that happened in Sri Lanka. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of backlash from the Buddhist extremists in Sri Lanka. Yeah, and a lot of damage is going on. Do remember our brothers in your prayers. Now the dust has barely settled with the illegal war that took place in Iraq and now they want to go in to Iran with the same sort of nonsense. If you look at the evidence that's being presented, I'll put a link in the description. Mehdi Hassan has written a brilliant article in which he dissects what's actually being fed to us and the links with Iraq. It's an absolute joke. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, continue supporting the series and of course guys until next time Salaamu Alaikum Ramadan Kareem